Hello, welcome to Writing Quest. My name is Brennan Pugh, and in today's episode, we are continuing taking a look at Scrivener, and we're going to be talking about the Inspector. Huzzah! All right, let's jump right into the computer, and you've seen this before if you've been following along with our other videos about Scrivener. We've talked about the binder, we've talked about the main browser window where you have documents, the cork board and the outliner, and we talked about word count and word goals. So in this video, we are moving over here to the inspector, which is this section right over here, and it shows you relevant information depending on what you've selected. So I currently have selected this part of my story that I've been working on writing, and we're just going to kind of go through it. So. The first view of this is the notes. The notes has two parts to it. You have the synopsis, which is the, if you go back to the corkboard view, this is that part. It mirrors what you have here, and it shows you what you wrote on your note card, essentially, which shows you what you need to write for the scene. And then down below, you have any notes. So these are notes that live with the document. So we can do test. This is a note, and it shows you those notes, no matter where you go. You can bring these up when you're in the composition mode. You can bring this up in a lot of different areas, but it shows you the notes that you have taken for this. Down here at the bottom, it'll also show you the label that you've selected and the status of this particular document. The other thing you can do is, if you don't want to see any of this information, you can toggle it away and put it away for later, which is very helpful. The next view is the bookmarks view, and this is essentially a way to create uh, links between the different documents that you may want to see. So if you, for instance, wanted to be able to reference a different part of your story while writing this part, I could do that by selecting this here. Now, if I select that bookmark, it's going to show me what I wrote here. I can also update this. Hello. How are you? And then, of course, if I go over to that document, it will actually have updated it. And then it also creates a link back. So it links back to the setup of which I was writing before. So now, depending on whichever one of these documents I'm in, it actually is connecting the two so that you can see them together and keep your notes straight, keep your story straight, see the thing, you know, it's a great way to keep track of things like eye color and I want to check on this or I want to reference this event or something. It's just a way for you to see other parts of your story within the document that you are currently writing. The next view is the metadata view. And the metadata view is basically what you think it is. It's metadata. It shows you what to date this document was created. It shows you when it was last modified including compile, section type, what is it? Is it a heading, chapter heading, scene, whatever? You can set up custom metadata here, so you can adjust things, add things of something that you want to track, and then you can add keywords down here. So this is, would be for searching your document. So you could put row, I could put say, another one of um, this place, et cetera, et cetera. So you have these keywords attached to your document. The next view in this is the snapshots view, which this is one of my favorite things to do. Um, it's such a great way to write and keep track of the things you have written and reference back to them. So you could use this in a lot of ways if you decide to totally scrap something, which is what I normally use it for. I, if I want to scrap something, I do a snapshot. So this is an older version that I did on February 1st of this chapter, and I wanted to restart it, but I had a lot of work here and I may want to pull from it. So what you do to create a snapshot is you simply come to the snapshots view, select the document you want to select, and then you just hit this little plus button right here, take snapshot, and it adds it right here, keeps the date organized. So this one's 5 2 one 22 you can look between the two. If I wanted to, say, copy something from over here, I could do that, and I could put it down here. See? Um, this is really great for when you are revising. So if you want to compare two versions of the novel, or if you've deleted something and you want to rewrite it, but you want to reference what you wrote before and maybe steal some things, 
Um, this is a really great way to do that. And also just keep a version history of everything you've done. So I would always go back and I would use this every time that you are starting a new version of the document, take a snapshot first so you can always go back and reference it. And finally, the last part of this is the comments and footnotes view. This is really nice for adding little parts of this that are highlighted. So if I want to add a comment, I select the text I want, click add comment, and then I can say something about this. Hello, this talks about dirt. You can make comments. So this is really great when you're going through and revising. It's really great when you're going through and revising or you're reading through it after you've finished the first draft and you're just wanting to take notes. This is a great way to do that and take little notes about different parts of your story. That's it for this episode of Writing Quest. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you learned something. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to this video and channel. It really helps us out. Check out our other videos on Scrivener and you, so you can see all of the different ways that you can use this program. It's the one that we really, really like. Um, and I just hope you learned something. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Huzzah!